My dad was a traveling salesman, so we traveled all the time. And so I became Little Miss Georgia, then I became Little Miss Tennessee. Everywhere we went, she would enter me into a talent show, and I would always become Little Miss something or other. She lived vicariously through me. So I did it till I was about 12 years old, and then I said, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> then one day, the sales ladies went out to lunch, and they came back and said, there's a sign outside the nightclub down the street saying, come in and sign up to be in the Miss Miami pageant. So we went in and signed your name. And I said, I won't do it. And they said, oh, you've got to. No, I'm not gonna put on a bathing suit and walk out in front of people. I said, okay, I'll do one, this one thing, no more. Well, I won. Then I had to go to Miss Florida. Well, I won, <laughs> so I had to go to Atlantic City. That's how I got back into it. Well, I had 15 titles. I was the fishing queen, and the, they, they call me uh, uh, Miss Everything Under the Sun. And uh, so Miss Miami, Miss Florida, and then runner-up to Miss America. I had a billboard for camels. I had every... Uh, toothpaste dad, every hair, uh, you name it. I can't, I can't even remember them all. Well, the advertising agency went to Conover. I was with a, an agency called Harry Conover. They looked through the book and saw my picture and said, we want her to be Miss Bluebonnet. There was never anybody else considered. And my picture was on there for 38 years. You couldn't buy margarine yellow in sticks. It came white in a pouch and had a little thing you popped and then you had to knead it and make it yellow. So when I was Miss Bluebonnet, I went to Washington and I lobbied before Congress and I got the bill passed that they could make it yellow. So, cause the American Dairy Association didn't want that, you know. So after a while we said, now we want it in sticks. So I went back to Washington. So because of me, you can buy margarine yellow in sticks. <laughs> I just take everything a day at a time. I'm not uh, thinking about where to go next or what's next. I just enjoy the day. The secret of life is enjoying the moment because right at this moment, you have everything you need. If you don't worry about what you didn't do yesterday, or in the past, and you don't fear what's coming in the future and worry about the future and just live today, everything's good. And like I said, age is a number, but old is an attitude. You have to keep that attitude.